Hi, I'm Susan and welcome to my channel. Today I've gone a little big. I've uh, done a floral abstract on clay board and I'd like to show you how I got started. This is a photo that inspired me. I love the colors and the textures. Here are the paints that I used. Very simple palette. I did add in some lemon yellow a little bit later and I re a painting that I had done that uh, was sort of a fail. And in order to sort of activate the surface, I used some pencils and crayons and ink tents, uh, little cubes, and just kind of sort of got myself in there and uh, made some marks. I'm gonna put some water on those marks to kind of activate things. I jumped a little ahead. I'm using a new webcam and I keep stepping in front of it. So bear with me. I'm learning how to use this webcam. I'm trying to stay out of the way. Uh, I'll learn sooner or later how to get myself out of the <laughs> out of the way of the camera. But uh, I'm just moving in here with my Nova paints. The clay board is an interesting surface because it's very smooth. And so when I paint with these relatively fluid paints, they are somewhat translucent a lot of times. I'm using gesso for my whites uh, because gesso does give a little bit more opacity. I wanted some exuberant marks in this painting. So I just sort of tackled it in a hurry. This time I used a different brush for each color so that I wouldn't get muddy colors. And I like to keep turning it around now and then, um, 90 degrees, to give it to give myself a little bit of a new perspective. When I'm going in in one shot to do a painting, it is good to keep it moving around so that I can look at it with fresh perspective. I did some scraping, a little bit of scraping. I wasn't too keen on those scraping marks and I covered them up a little bit later. I noticed the sheen um, from the light source. I love these colors, the purples and magentas and a couple of different uh, greens. I decided it needed a little bit of warmth so I decided to put in some texture with some blobs of lemon yellow mixed with white. I felt like the painting called for that. Again, I am not trying to depict anything specifically in my garden or uh, depict a flower or a group of flowers. I'm just trying to put in textures and colors that really appeal to me from the garden landscape, freeing me up to just get in there and play.
I'm layering some of the magenta on top of the dioxazine purple just to get a little more depth. My studio cameras are not lighting this quite as nicely as my final photo, so bear with me and at the end of this video you will see a little bit more um, lovely vibrant color than my studio lights were depicting here. That's another thing I've got to figure out. I'm working on microphones, webcams, lighting. All of this doesn't come naturally to me, so I'm dipping my toe in. And I've pretty much uh, finished up here, and this is what a good photo of the finished product is like. This is 22 by 30 inch painting and um, I hope you'll tune in again. Please hit subscribe and check out my my web link down below because you can sign up for my classes and future announcements. So thank you for staying with me and have a good painting day.